Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rikah Kodash. God honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us his truth. Today's lesson is we out here prophesying, thinking about making a video, I believe, you know, which, uh, well, a sit down, but uh, this is the, uh, the day is Sunday. Uh, October the 17th, 2021, the hastening of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so, you know, we're gonna go by the spirit. Uh, that's nothing really in the news, but, you know, what's normally, you know, which is programming, you know. The elites uh, are set up to do the programming, the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The, the elites are set up to program the earth, man, okay? So it's, it's uh, the elites are the uh, most high's uh, 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 staff or his rod, you know, uh, uh, you know, mainly with uh, Dylan on the left hand side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is, you know, known as the uh, side of the wicked in most cases, you know. Uh, so uh, let's grab a scripture, uh, a scripture out of. Uh, Uh, let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 and uh, let's start at verse 7 it says concerning Edom thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts is wisdom no more in Tema is counsel perished from the prudent and their wisdom vanished so and and Teeman is uh you know uh one of the you know the uh, 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 tribes of Edom man you know uh you know through the spirit we believe that's uh you know uh, the Germans you know uh, because uh, Teeman is in the scripture known as uh, uh, some of the wise men you know you know they was one of the top uh you know innovators okay. And they doing so now, you know, they're top innovators when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, different technology, like with the, uh, you know, the Mercedes Benz, you know, they're very high on technology. So we looking at as team and as being, you know, the Germans. It says, uh, verse eight, it says, flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I would bring the comlet, uh, uh, comlet, of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. If grape gathers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaming grapes? If thieves by night, they would destroy, destroy till they had enough. And it's talking about the works of Esau Edom, you know, as being, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the biggest thief on earth, okay? page okay but yeah man Esau Edom is known as the biggest thief on on, on uh on this planet earth all right uh verse uh 10 it says but I have made Esau bear and this is the uh the most high talking about how he's made Esau uh known among the nations Okay, he said he's made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. You know, like at one point in time, no one really knew, you know, about the, uh, 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 you know, the Illuminati and the, uh, uh, the, and the wickedness of, you know, that, that they was doing, you know. But that's the most high exposing Esau. It says, uh, And he shall not be able to hide himself, his seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbor, and he is not. See? And this is a uh, prophecy, man. Okay? But me, uh, uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai gonna make it to where Esau is not, you know, uh, uh, gonna be, uh, uh, get, have reverence given to him, you know, by the nations. You know? 
All right. Verse 11, it says, Yea, thy fatherless children, I will preserve thee alive, and let thy widows trust in me. And that's talking about the elect. Verse 12, it says, For thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, they who judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk in it. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. You know, and uh, you know, my old lady was asking me uh about you know why uh, uh why uh, uh you know how women are you know they just ask you know even though you ran went over this thing <laughs> numerous of times with them you know she was asking about why Esau or why the people be blessed and nothing happened to him and I you know in layman's uh, uh, term I had to break it down and tell her that. You know, that time of judgment is coming. You know? The time of judgment is near upon the earth. Uh, you know, mainly starting with the house of, uh, of the Most High, man. His people. Meaning you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They're going to be the first of, uh, of this the brunt, blunt prompt promise, uh, uh, punishment, Salaki, that the, uh, the Most High is going to put upon his people, man. You see? All right, let's jump down to verse 16. Jeremiah 49, chapter 49 and verse 16. It says, Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And this is talking about Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man, you know, because uh, the, uh, the Most High said his, 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 his pride hath deceived him. Okay? It says, it said, Thou holdest thy height of the hill, thou hast should have made thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down. This said the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, see? Because uh, it's at the point where, you know, the elites are running the world, but the Most High is going to bring them down, man, to a lowest state, man. Because, you know, at one point in time, you know, the elites, you know, which are Esau, Edom in the Bible, you know, they were, uh, you know, uh, cave dwellers, you know, and they didn't speak. You know, they spoke, they, uh, uh, they uh, uh, I guess you can call it their term, uh, uh, their form of speech was, you know, grunting, you know. So the Most High have brought up uh, uh, this nation of people, which are known as the base men, you know, to all, to you know, show his power, just as well as he did, uh, you know, uh, uh, Pharaoh, you know, uh, the king of Egypt. He brought them all the way up just to bring them down, you know. You know, like the Lord said, he lifted one up and bringing one down. You know, he he, 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 he he's, does the works of the king, you know. The kings of the, uh, the hearts of the king of man is in the hands of the uh, Bashim Yahweh Okay? Uh... Okay, this is a good one. This is a Samuel's chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. See, this is the work of the Lord, you know. He raise up kings and, and bring them down. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the scripture? Uh, the kings. Uh, it says the king's hearts. I believe it. That's the way it goes. Uh, uh, it says the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Okay. Proverbs 21 and 1. So let's get it. This is uh, the book of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem as the rivers of water he turneth. It whatsoever he will. See? 
So the kings does the, the uh, uh, are not doing their own business, you know. It's all of the, uh, the works of the Lord, man. The Lord does these things, okay? Let's read that again, Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart uh, in the, are in the Salaki. The king's heart is in the, in the hands of the Lord Yahweh, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. See? So, the, uh, uh, will you not, will you call uh, uh, the leaders of the earth, you know, the most high, allows them to do his work, not their own agenda, man. Okay, it may seem like they are, uh, uh, you know, ruling, you know, but, you know, the Lord, the Lord, you how about Shimei Abshai is in, in, in uh, 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 you know, is pulling all the strings, man. Okay? All right? Verse 2, it says, Every way a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord Yahweh by Shema Abishai punted his heart. See? So the Most High rules puts everybody in their own lot, man. Put according to what he wants. Okay? It's not according to what they want. All right? Let's read on. It says, uh, To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Abishai than sacrifice. You know, at one point in time, you know, and uh, our forefathers were, you know, uh, 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 sacrificing different, uh, you know, animals or whatever. But now, you know, it's it's, it's you know it's a di it's different now. Uh, the, the sacrifice has been completed by uh, our Lord, man, Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, a high look and a proud heart. And the plowing of the wicked is sin. It says, though thoughts of the diligent tend only to uh, plumptuousness, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasure is by a lying tongue, is vanity tossed to and fro from them that seek death, you know? And, and, and uh, the way of money right now is. Uh, it's all a, a facade, you know. It's, it's, it's money. It, real money is silver and gold. Money, that you know it is a, is a fiat currency, man. You know, this is something that's not backed up by gold now. You know, money is pretty much, you know, a, a piece of paper that's printed. You know, that's why they, we have an uh, inflation right now. That's why you could go to a store and everything is, you know, uh, uh, used to be somewhat what you call you could afford. Now it's you know, it's, it's the, the prices have risen up on a lot of things. And it's going to get to a point where it's going to be hyperinflation. Where you're going to go to the uh, uh, corner store to buy a, a loaf of light bread and it's going to be $50. You see? That's that's the time that we're coming into. Which this is all set up by the elites, man. You know? And, 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 and you know, like like I, we read back in uh, at the beginning of the Proverbs uh, 21 and 1. You know, the king's hearts are set in the, uh, in the hands of the Most High. So, hey, Yahweh Bashimi Abshai set the king up or, or the presidents or the elites that run the earth to do these things, man, to bring on the judgment, man. Okay, to bring on prophecy, basically. You know, prophecy to, you know, that once this, uh, you know, hyperinflation kicks in, money is going to be obsolete, man. You see? Money gonna be in a point where they're gonna have to uh, uh, implement that, that that mark, man. The microchip. The microchip is gonna be your way of money. You see? But what it says in the book of Revelations, man, 13 and 16, that he calls it all small and great, rich and poor, to receive that mark, that a uh, uh, microchip in his hand or his forehead, man. That's what's coming, man. You see? That's what the elites want, man. The elites want. To the whole world, you see, to run off this uh, digital digital currency, man. You see, and this digital currency that he's going to implement in the form of a, a microchip is going to be uh, 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 what they call the mark, man, the mark of the beast. Okay, that's what it's going to be. You see, and I believe in the Book of Revelation, the Most High tells you that if you receive this mark in your hand or your forehead. You know, uh, uh, let's see if we can grab it. That's a, uh, a major judgment, man. Okay. Now it's in the, uh, Revelation chapter 14. 
Uh, and I started at verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the uh, presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You know, and the presence of the Lamb is uh, our Lord, man, Yahweh Shah. Okay? So, when it says, if any man worship the beast in his image, the beast is going back into these different countries, you know, the uh, uh, EU, in, uh, uh, you know, EU and uh, NATO, man. Okay? Let's read it again. A third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receiveth the mark in his uh, forehead or his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. And the wrath of the Most High that is poured out without mixture is his judgment, man. Okay? That's that's what we leading up to. And you know, you're starting to see that now, man, day by day. As, a, 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 you know, we, we at the beginning of inflation, man. Once inflation starts to get to a point, it's going to be hyperinflation, man. You see, and that's going to bring in this karagma. You know, the Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And then uh, Revelation 14, uh, I can say it, uh, 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 chapter 14 and verse 9 on down, it's the, uh, you know, the judgment for receiving that uh, uh, karagma, man, or that microchip. Okay? Verse 11, it says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest, nor day, nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark in his name. See, you said, you, you, once you receive that mark, you will get no rest, day or night. You know, meaning that you are going to be a perpetual slave, man, if you receive this mark. Okay? And a lot of people are going to uh, take this microchip, you know, and, and that's where your faith lies in. If you have no faith, this is your this is gonna be your uh, destiny, man. Okay. All right. It says, uh, verse twelve. Okay. It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High, and the faith of Yahweh Shai. You see, and whoever keep whoever has that faith, man, you know, a part uh, uh, will be the elect, man. The, the remnant of the Most High who's gonna, he's going to save. So what your priest and your pastor tell you is a lie. No one is saved now, man. No one is saved. They use this terminology. They sling this word around in, in church, man, and, and like, it's, uh, uh, like it's nothing, man. So no one is saved, man. Baptism cannot save you, man. Dunking you in water can't save you, man. No one knows when they're saved. You see? When will you know you're saved is when you in those chariots, man. You see? All right. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. But no one knows if they're saved. No one is saved by going to church. No one is saved by saying that when the priest or the pastor tell you, do you want to be saved? No one knows if they're saved until the, you know, the last end, man. Once the end has come and you on the chariot looking down on the firmament, okay, seeing America or Babylon the Great being destroyed by nuclear missiles, you see, then you know you're saved. You see? No one knows if they're saved right now, man. You see? Church can't save you. Getting baptized you see, and water won't know, you won't know if you're saved, man. Okay? But yeah, let's, uh, uh, Revelation chapter, let's jump down to, uh, verse 16 and, uh, 1. It says, I heard a great voice 
out of the temple saying the seven angels go your way and pour out your vows of the wrath of the most high upon the earth it says and with the and, and the first went and poured out his vows upon the earth and and there fell a noisome and greasome sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them who worship the image and that mark of the beast is that uh microchip man you see america is going to forward it it is gender right now we're right now at the beginning of a, a inflation man and when a uh, hyperinflation kicks in you see when hyperinflation kicks in you know uh, uh when you have to pay what fifty dollars for uh, uh, uh you know light bread that's hyperinflation and then after that you know they're gonna hey you're gonna work out digital money man that's the mark man that's the microchip that the elite's gonna push upon his own uh, 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 citizen, man. Well, you know, the, the, uh, the elite, which I'm talking about, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and all those, one, what they call themselves one percenters, saying that they're God's people, man, but they are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You see, they're the chief house of Satan, man. They doing the work, man. Like the scriptures say, hey, we, uh, we fight not against principality, you see? We fight against prince, not we flesh. We fight not against flesh and blood, but principality, man. You know, uh, uh, in, in spiritual high places, man. Okay, meaning the elites, man. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, let's read that again. Uh, Revelation sixteen and one. It says, "I heard a great voice out of the, out of the temple saying to the seven angel." Go your way and pour out the veil, the uh, vows of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. See, hey, the uh, angels are going to do the work of the Lord, and this is the seventh angel, meaning the uh, completion that's going to happen, right? It says, uh, and the first went out and poured out his vow upon the earth, and there fell a noisome, greasome, uh, a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast upon them who worship the, his image see that mark of the beast is that microchip man that where people the, the elites are going to force the people to uh, uh uh accept that man you see if you accept that that mark man you, you you're a dead man that's why it says that's uh no uh that uh an awesome and grievous sword is going to be on the people who receive this mark man you see and all of this is just to make you a perpetual slave, man. You see? And the Lord, your house washing me outside, has set up, you know, uh, 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 the elect to not to receive that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, uh, mark, man. Okay? Verse 3. It says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. Verse 4, it says, The third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the foundation of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art, and was, and shall be, because thou hast judged us. Judged us, okay? And that's what that judgment going to come in, man. You know, that's where your faith is going to lie in to where if you're going to receive that microchip in your hand or your forehead, or you're going to have faith, you see, in the Lord that say, oh, Lord, you know, I, 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 you know, I pray you said you was going to do this and do that, you see, and the Lord will deliver, you know, his elect, man, okay? Everybody won't be saved, man, you see? Read it on. It says, uh, for they have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are, are worthy. Wow. And it's talking about, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, the agenda, you know, to, uh, uh, to slain the prophets, man. You see? And the Lord is going to reverse that, man, and give them their blood to drink, man. Since thou has not, since thou hate blood, blood shall pursue thee, man. Uh, let's see if we can find that. Uh, 
Let's get it. Let's side with you. Uh, blood shall pursue thee. Okay. The water you have by Shimei Abishai. I think it's uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 6. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 6. Okay. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, and uh, verse 6 it says, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You see? And this is talking about the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the enemy of the, uh, uh, of your house by shot, man. And you know, we all know who's the enemy of your house by shot, okay? Starting with the elite, man. The elite bankers who run this earth. You know, who the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You see? Okay, let's start, let's jump back up uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5. 35 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. See? And this is talking about the rulers of the earth, the so-called white men. Or, you know, uh, starting with the uh, elite bankers first, you know. The Most High is going to stretch his hand out against Mount Seir. Why? Because uh, Mount uh, uh, Seir has done all these things against, uh, uh, you know, our Lord, man. Uh, blaspheme his name, you see? You know, and, and, and with, with lies and, and lying wonders, man. Okay? And mainly for putting his hands on... Uh, on, on, on the on, on the prophets, man, on his the uh, apple of his eye, okay. Uh, and the it says, and I will make thee most desolate. How is he gonna make Mount Seir, or the so-called white man Esau Edom, most most desolate? He's gonna do that by wow, by the way of ICBM missiles, man. Which you know, uh, this last thing I seen in the news. I seen where uh, Russia uh, said that they ran off uh, one of the uh, you, uh, one of the destroying ships of the United States because they was trading in uh, in, uh, uh, in their that part of the waters, man. So these prophecies are knocking at the door, man. You see, these prophecies are knocking at the door to where you know uh, 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 Russia. It's gonna, uh, you know, uh, come against America, man. And uh, 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 plenty, and then most of the uh, their their allies, uh, uh, American allies, are gonna come against America, you know. The European Union and NATO, you know, some of those countries are coming are gonna, gonna come against uh, America, man. You know, uh, China, uh, North Korea, South Korea, uh, Iran. You know, Afghanistan, all of these countries are going to come against the horde, man. They, 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 they're they going to hate the horde, man. Okay, the beast shall hate the horde. <clears throat> okay, this is, hey, it's knocking, hey, like, prophecies are coming, man. You know, they're knocking at the door. All right. All right, uh, verse 4, it says, I will lay thy city's waste. And thou shalt be desolate, <clears throat> and thou shalt know I am the Lord Yahweh, my Shimei You see, the word of the Lord, man. None of my work should go out void, thus said the Lord, okay? Verse 5, it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and shed the blood of the children, the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Now this is talking about the Edomites, man. Okay? The so-called white man has 
you know, uh, had a perpetual hatred, man, or still has that perpetual hatred, you know, for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You see? But, you know, most of the Northern tribe, I can say the Southern tribe, too, you know, you got a, a lot of house Negroes out here, you know, sellouts, you know. You know, they don't want this to happen, man. You see? All right, read it on. <clears throat> it says, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, Bashimi Abishai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. You see? Blood shall pursue the so called white man who has uh, uh, betrayed to be your friend in these times when, you know, back in the, when, it wasn't even 50 years ago, he was lynching you Negroes. You know, he's. Listen, you Negroes on every pole and every tree you can get, man. Because the so-called white man has had a perpetual hatred. What's going on now? How you doing? I'm working right. What's good? Hey, man, I'm here, man. Hey, I'm ready to get it over with. <laughs> All right, have a good one now. All right, it says, uh, uh, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, you have to. Bashimi Abishai, I will pursue, prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Okay? So blood shall pursue thee. You know, just, uh, you know, the people who put their hand on the children of Israel. Okay? It's a lot. So blood shall pursue you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the slave masters, so you can understand, okay? All right, uh, it says, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir desolate and cut out from it, uh, from, uh, from it him that pass it out and him that return it, see? That's the, hey, that's the uh, judgment, man, that the Most High is going to bring uh, uh, to the rulership, man, of the earth, man, okay? Verse 8, it says, I will, I will fill his mountain with his slain men, and thy hills, and thy valleys, and all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. You see? And that's how it's going to, uh, that's going to be the end uh, uh, times of Esau Edom, man. The Most High is, uh, he's going to slain them, man. You know? Which uh, make me think about, you know, these uh, end times where the Lord is going to, uh, you know, come, uh, uh, where it's going to have uh, 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 the Valley of Jehoshaphat, is what I was thinking of. With all the all these nations are going to come together and fight against each other. And once the nations see the Lord come back and crack the clouds, you see, on his chariot, man, they're going to be astonished, man. Their eyes are going to be aslame. You see? All right. Uh, verse 9 will make the perpetual desolation I will make thee a perpetual desolation, and thy cities shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. See, once the Lord make thee uh, America and, you know, some other countries desolate, they won't return, man. It'll be the end of them. Because, you know, with the elites, you know, they have this, uh, they have, uh, uh, you know, bunkers, you know, out of, out of space bunkers, underwater bunkers bunkers under the uh, uh, ground because they believe that after the nuclear destruction that they're going to be able to bounce back you know and be pretty much uh, uh, start their agenda you see a uh, new agenda you know because the agenda of the earth right now that they want is to make everybody a perpetual slave you see All right, uh, uh, 
uh, verse 11. It says, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will even do according to thy anger, and according to thy envy which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make, thy, make myself known among them when I have judged thee. You see? And this is the judgment uh, 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 taking uh, uh, place, man, going forward, right? It says, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Arashah, and that I have heard all thy blasphemy which thou hast spoken against the Mount of Israel. The mountains of Israel saying they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. You see, and this is talking about the ancient, uh, uh, our forefathers, man. Which, you know, that's pretty much the same thing as uh, uh, wanna, they want the same thing to happen today. Well, we're in that stage already, you know, that we're, uh, we are in a downtrodden, you know, situation. But this time, you know, hey, our, our Lord is going to save us, man. Our Lord, how about she may have shot going to save us? Okay? Well, not us as a whole, but, you know, starting off with the elect, man. The elect is going to be saved. You know, that, which is going to bring back, you know, the two-thirds that are uh, destroyed on this side. Okay? All right, uh... Let's go into uh, all right. Let's go into uh, the book of uh, <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter two, uh, verse fourteen. It says, "But the natural man receiveth not the thing." of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritual discerned see everybody can't get this truth man like you said the, hey, the natural man is uh, spiritual, spiritually discerned man meaning they can't get this truth man everybody won't get it you see but everybody in the church you see in these uh cathedrals you know, they, they, they get the uh, uh, feel-good doctrine, you see? Saying that God is going to forgive everybody. Uh, our Lord is going to uh, save everybody. When that's a complete lie, man. The scriptures tell you only the elect of the nation of Israel will be saved. And the nation of Israel is walking this earth today. Meaning you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? And only a third of the nation of Israel is going to get it. Or, or, or are gonna be known uh, uh, as uh, uh, are gonna be accepted, uh, should I say, for lack of better words, you see, for salvation, man. So the natural man won't be able to get this truth. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right, this is uh, the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, uh, Be not deceived, the Most High, or God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see? So if a man sows wickedness, he's going to reap the same uh, uh, thing, man. You see? It's like if you plant an apple seed, you're going to get apple trees. If you sow wickedness or plant wickedness, you're going to get wickedness is, is what you're going to receive. And see, and this is, this is what these nations hate to hear, man. The nations who have put you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, or, or, you know, mainly the so-called Southern tribe or the Southern tribe or Southern kingdom, you know, through uh, hard, rigorous slavery are going to get the same thing in return. You see? I mean... How other, uh, how other way can you get it? You can't get it no other way. You reap what you sow. All right? At verse 8, it said, He that soweth to his flesh shall reap. Uh, Salaki, it says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of his flesh reap corruption. 
but he that sow it to the spirit shall of uh, the spirit reap life everlasting. See, what you sow, what you reap is what you sow. Now the nations have sown what against you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see, uh, 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 punishment uh, and uh, uh, through the uh, worst way, man. You see, now you have uh, uh, these other nations that come in and they prosper. When you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are all a part of an agenda to keep you Israelites down, man. You see, uh, uh, referring back to the book of uh, uh, Psalms 83. All the nations that came against you so-called Negroes, man, Hispanics and Native Americans. You see? All nations have, man. You see? All right? And they're going to reap this same thing that they, they sold, reap. And, you know, this is all the agenda to keep uh, uh, themselves in a better perspective that they think. You see? Because when you have a shot, is, 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 is establish his kingdom on earth you see it's gonna be you know a, 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 a much better place than what they in now man you see now you have a, a, a Mo, Mo, Moab riding around here taking pictures of the, uh, this Roman Catholic uh, uh, you know uh, church man with you know so called church of a so called white Jesus man Hey, who you call uh, uh, Jesus is not a so-called white man, okay? Who you call Jesus is a so-called black man. You see, and no nation want to hear that, including your, our own nation. They don't want to hear that. They they set the so-called white man, at, uh, uh, you know, on a high on a pedestal, man. We we know the so-called white man is the base man of of, of the nations, man. You see, so-called black man. Is the uh, uh is, is 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 the top ruler, you see? Once our oh, our Lord come back, all you nations are going into captivity. You so-called Chinese, Japanese, all you nations are going to be our slaves, man. You see? Hello, more by snickling and laughing, looking like a uh, 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 egg roll. You see? That's what's going to happen, man. All nations are going to bow to the how about she be outside. All nations, man. You see? Let's get uh, the book of Ezekiel, uh, 30, chapter 35 and uh, verse 5. Uh, no, that's, that's not what I'm looking for. Ezekiel, uh, chapter 37 and verse 7 it says so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone and when I beheld and lo the sins knew and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them and this is talking about the Israelites, a uh, uh, Negro that walks the streets that don't know that he's an Israelite. You see? Hey, I, I'm glad that uh, a more by her that with this he's doing that little snickling, man. Hey, hey, he gonna he gonna be held accountable for that. Okay. It says, uh, verse nine. It says, then said. He unto them prophesied unto them. the wind, prophesied son of man, and say unto the wind, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, come from the four wind, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. And this is the Israelites uh, uh, coming back, you know, uh, uh, to their right, uh, 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 natural state of being Israelites, you know. This is so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, not knowing. But coming back to who they originally are, man, you know, we're Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, not so-called Negroes or Hispanics or Native Americans. These are uh, uh, pro uh, uh, proverbs that were put on us, uh, uh, you know, from uh, the so-called slave master. Okay. It says, so I prophesied as I, as he commanded me, 
and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. And that's what you have now, man. Exceeding great army for you how by Shimmy Alba Shot, man. To do the work of the will of your how by Shimmy Alba Shot to the best of our ability. Okay? Alright. But yeah, man, this is the time that we're in, man. Okay, let's go to the book of Amos. All right. This is Amos chapter 4, verse 18. It says, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, is darkness and not light. You know? And that brings you back to how, you know, the so-called black woman always says, you know, she wants to be happy, man. But the day of the Lord is coming. And it's dark, it's not light. Okay? All right? It's dark, it's not light. Okay? All right, uh... say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And this is the watchman, man, that comes out and tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people, but you must repent for salvation, man. Okay? Because the earth is going to be in mourning, man. Coming real soon. Okay? You know? Hard, rigorous mourning is coming to America, man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 2, it says, The Lord, Yahweh, by Sheba Abishai, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that readeth it. Meaning, he may prophesy or tell, run and tell people. You know, like we're doing now. Prophesy not to the wind. You know, and, and hopefully we, we tell it saying to the Lord that, hey, Lord willing, we'll uh, uh, be a part of that uh, uh, that number, man. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? You want to hear this truth? Huh? This truth. The truth of the Bible. Huh? Well, you ain't got far to look. I'm right here. What you want to know? That our true biblical nationality, our Hebrew like the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the lost tribe of Israel. You know? You know, uh, you know our people, so-called black, which are the southern kingdom, you know, we uh been called every name under the book except who we truly are. And that's a hidden agenda by the elite. You see, but which is you know, regardless on, you know, everybody's playing their life, put it that way. So the lot is going to be played regardless on who says what and who wants, you know, to be a part of it. Or, or they say they, like I was just reading in the book of uh, Proverbs, it says the, you know, the, uh, the king's hand is in the hands of the Lord. So whatever the king or the president or the elites want to do, the Lord is going to make them do what he wants them to do. So, you know, everybody plays their lot regardless. So it's nothing that we can do and say. That's why we say... Lord willing. That's what I say, Lord willing. Like somebody say, hey, man, I'll see you tomorrow. I say, Lord willing, you know, because I might not wake up. But I know I'm in this truth, man, to, to the death of me. Lord willing. That's why I come out and prophesy. You see? You know, a lot of people don't, hey, like they said, the truth hurts, man. The truth hurts when they get the true truth of the Bible. You see? So... Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, uh, well. Did she fall? Oh, okay. Well, well, uh, everybody don't. I believe them guys over there. Uh, you know, we have uh, the same apostles, uh, Great Millstone. And uh, they think they, pre well, we don't consolidate all together because, you know, uh, I, ca I came into this truth uh, or understanding of the Bible. I think it's been a few, about five years ago. But, uh, and I think a lot of, something that the, the head brother over there, he's been in there for a long time. So, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't know they was this, uh, you know, preaching the same doctrine. And I just recently found this out not too long ago. I just had, you know, talked to them and anything like that. But, you know, why get a great multitude of people in one area and spread the word out, you know? So, I mean, you know, it's all through the spirit that reason I come out here. And, you know, I mean, it's not no, you know, because it's, it's not, uh, no, uh, 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 I guess you can call it bad agenda. It just depends on who you are. You know, because some people, you know, I have heard like in the news, they call us black Hebrew Israelites. And ain't nothing black about me. I don't even, I don't even consent to saying that I'm black. Because, you know, that car color is black. I'm not even that complexion. You know, you have different shades of uh, 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 brown. A real dark brown, a medium and a light brown. And then we got uh, Hispanics and Native Americans in our camp, so, you know, how, how can we be black when we got these different so-called uh, uh, agendas, I mean, uh, different uh, nationalities, so, but, you know, that's, that's prophesied that it was going to be like that. It's all prophecy that we're, we're going to uh, be uh, demonized, you know, and, and brung, in, brung into council in front of the, uh, you know, the kings and for, uh, uh, you know, for a, uh, for a testimony, you know, so, you know, some going to get killed and slain, you know, or be martyrs for this truth, you know, but we will, we live again, man, because we have an, uh, we have an agenda to push this truth, man, regardless, you know, who's listening or who, who won't listen. We just have to come out and do the work, you know, because of uh, not doing the work, you know. It's like the uh, the story of the talent, you know, where uh, the Most High gave him a talent to these different men. And uh, some of them, some of them brought the talent to him. And I did, well, no, what it was, they, they sold the talent. And yeah, and one buried the talent. You know, so I mean, you know, that's what happens. You know, to do the, you know, to do the work of the Lord. You know, you have to be diligent. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Uh huh. So yeah, we don't all come together like that in, in one congregation. You know, I don't know those brothers over there. You know, per se, but I mean, you know, I wouldn't. I tried to go out there and meet them. You know the. Uh, speak with him and congregate with him, but like every time I try to come around, you know, I never see him over there. There's a guy that come into this truth, he said that uh, he told me about them over there. Right. Yeah. I met you before, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, oh, you the guy with the glasses on. I, I used to hide last time. Oh, they call you? No, no. They weren't no, him? No, that's different. Oh, what the dude that they call him? White devil. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, man, hey, look, hey, some people go off like that, man. Hey, man, hey, it is what it is, but, you know, we don't fight against flesh and blood, just, you know, uh, principalities in high places. So the fight is uh, with the elites, man, with this truth. Because the elites are the, you know, the central bankers. 
you know, the uh, Rothschilds. Uh, but, but, but that was that would still be flesh and blood, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, but they 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 you know they uh they they witches and warlocks, man. You know they they like you know you see like that's used for instance like the uh the music scene now, man. You know they man they pray over them rappers, man, and and, 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 and say a, a demonic prayer. All that stuff is demonic, man. So that's 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 the uh, that's the fight, really. It's a spiritual fight. Right, but then if if that be the case, then it really doesn't have a faith. What do you mean? You can't have a faith if it's spiritual. A faith? A faith. Oh well, it's a spiritual. It's the well. I put it like this: the devil is uh, has a spiritual counterpart as well, uh, well as a physical counterpart. I agree. So, the like, spirits are real. Right, I agree. Those spirits are real, man. Hey. But, but what I'm saying is, is that with that being the case and people being unaware, he could simply be anywhere. Oh, yeah. They, oh, and yes. Use anybody. Anybody. Right. So it, it, it has nothing at all to do with, as you said, it doesn't have anything to do with race or anything like that. Well, that's true. Because, that's true because, because sometimes people that look like you fight harder against you than the people that don't. Yeah. Because <laughs> look, I had, uh, I've been about a year ago, maybe two years ago, I had, uh, I had a, a different, uh, I had, uh, it wasn't this garment, but I had like some Hebrew on and some ancient Hebrew. And it was this woman, she was in the suburb, and she said, you speak Hebrew? And she, I'll be back. But she, she left, but it took about, 15, 20 minutes. She was talking about she had to make a corner and got on the interstate. I'm like, you could have just hit that corner and came back around. <laughs> but she ended up getting a, a brother and his little nephew with him. And man, they were fighting. They came out. They met up at the same time. I already knew the time. They wanted to debate. And, man, look, I'm here. I preach this word, you know. You ain't got to You want to hear it. You, you don't want to hear it. But. So she was debating that the people in Israel are the true Jews. And I was like, how could they be the true Jews when none of these prophecies has actually happened? Because prophecy tells you that when the true Jews are, are put back into that land, there'll be no fight, no war, no more. Right. There'll be none of that anymore. I believe we call them the 1948. Because yeah. you know, that's when they were put over there. That's now, the message. Uh, yeah, well, that's the <laughs> Yes, sir. We call them the 1948 of them. Right. I mean, I mean, you have to read and understand and you you it, it comes naturally, man, too. When you see that, you're like, well, you know, you know, this is like the like we say, this is everybody's in place. You ain't gonna have no director in, you know, Hollywood and you say, I want to be the bad guy, and you playing the good guy. It ain't gonna happen. It's, gonna happen. it's not gonna happen. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, I just come out, prophesy, and do, you know, I, 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 I actually like it. <laughs> you know, I learn every day by day, you know, I'm pretty knowledgeable, you know, but I have, you have to study to show yourself constant, constant, you know, constant, even though you don't even want, a lot of times you have to kick your woman to the curb. Like, hey, baby, hey, I love you, but hey, the most high is perfect. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, it is what it is. You know? We gonna get out of here, man. Bye. All right, now. All right, y'all do the same, man. Hey, hey, man, I remember I was talking to you when you ran, you and your buddy, y'all ran off, man. I just thought about that. That boy, boy, y'all, I got a call. <laughs> yeah, we did have a call. Oh, okay. I thought you was like, I don't want to talk to that dude no more. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. All right, I had a good deal tonight. Who? Price. Price. Okay, I had a friend last name, Price, in California. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I remember that for real. All right, Price, have a good one. You too, Mr. Harris. Officer Harris. All right. All right, let's uh, let's go into the book of uh, Second Nedges. Second Nedges, chapter 15. And, and then we'll cut it off. 
Second Nedras chapter 15 and verse 15. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, second Nedras chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. See, the Lord is telling you that the prophets out on the street corner, he's going to put these words in thy mouth. So the words that we speak are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, okay, and that's it. So let's get down to uh, 15. Uh, uh, second Nezra chapter 15 and verse 15. Well, 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. See? Hey, hey it's, it's, it's going to be a... a the world, the Lord is going to destroy the place, man. Woe meaning destruction, man. It says, woe to the world and, and they, that they're at the end. So the world is, will be destroyed. Well, the uh, the setup of the world, the world uh, 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 abides forever. Okay? But the, the, the uh, Esau, Edom's world will be destroyed. Meaning the so-called white man will be destroyed. And his... Uh, his, his beast system. Okay, and it says, uh, it says, for the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. So what's the modern day sword is the gun. So it's gonna be hell and chaos in the streets, man. Okay? You know, with Officer Harris and Officer Price, you know, they, you know, wanna know, they know about the uh, uh, the brothers at the railroad park, you know, and, and, and they say me out here by, you know, why y'all don't get together? Well, you know, it is, you know, we we preaching the word, they preaching the, uh, 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 you know, a uh, same doctrine, man, of, uh, you know, uh, repentance for our people, which you know, it only be the elect, and and, and, and destruction, and uh, uh, judgment coming to the two thirds of our people, and. Uh, and the nations, okay, the heathen nations that fought against Jerusalem, you see, here in America, which America will be destroyed, you know, okay, reading on, uh, it says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings or princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, see, See, it's going to be a, a, a race war, a, 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 a class war. All these things are going to happen, man, here in Babylon. You see? That's why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent, man. Because there's going to be no other nation, I mean, no other form of uh, uh, resource that's going to save you. You see? Uh, 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 your, your, your AR with the 100 round clip won't save you, man. You see? That's when you know you have salvation, man. Like, like the uh, scripture said, then you shall know who, who am I chosen. Okay? All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 34, uh, 36 and verse one. It says, have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of all and behold us and send their fear upon all nations that seek not after thee lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power you see and that's what's gonna happen man the Lord is gonna raise up his hand to have the strange nation to see his power man okay Verse 7, it says, Rise up, raise up indignation, and pour out wrath, take away the adversary, and destroy the enemy. You know, and that's the prayer, man, that we preach, man. That's the prayer that's that's, that's in the mouth of every, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, a teacher or a prophet, you see, that's, that's in this truth, man. Uh, 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 you know, a diligent teacher, man. A truth for teaching, man. You see? To destroy the enemy. But, you know, you have some Israelites out here, man, they preach. And they just, 
you know, they just want the, the, the bag, man. You see, the bag ain't coming this rotation, man. <laughs> you know, it'll be in the next, uh, uh, the kingdom that's gonna be established, man. You see, and that's what this whole gospel is all about, man. This whole gospel is about, you know, uh, to prophesy the truth uh, on, on, on what's gonna happen, man. And this truth, uh, uh, this next kingdom that's gonna be established, man. By Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay? It says, uh, sorry, Ecclesiastes 30, chapter 34. 34? No, 36, I like it. And verse, that's seven again. It says, rise, it says, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. You see? And once you do, once those things happen, then you can have your peace and you can be happy, so-called black woman. Okay? But first, these things have to happen before this happens. Okay? It says, make time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Hey, hey man. That's what it's all about, man. Giving all praise and honor to you, how about Shimei You see? By Hashem Rukakudash. Verse 9, it said, Let him that escape it be consumed by the rage of the fire, and let them perish that oppress the people, man. Woo! Beautiful, man. You see? What other way do you want it, man? For you to be on grinding, right, man, under your how about Shimei Abishai and righteousness, man. Okay? It says, uh, it says, smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathens that say there is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, the inheritance of them as from the beginning. You see? And that's the, the, us being established again, man. But in righteousness, man, with the uh, uh, statutes, laws, and commandments. Uh, uh, programmed in us, man. You know, in our uh, 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 inward parts. All right. It says, uh, "Oh Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by Thy name." Okay. It says, "And upon Israel." So that's the uh, the southern and the northern tribe. You see, getting uh, uh, the, the the Most High of uh, 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 men together, man. Okay. Yahweh, man, we call after his name, man. Means thanks, Yahweh. Thanks, you know, to uh, our power, man. Yahweh, by shot. It says, it says, who thou has named thy firstborn? Oh, be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest, man. You know, that's a hey, that's that's a hey, that's what we looking forward to, man. You see. To get, to get back in the Lord's uh, 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 grace, man. You see? A beautiful thing. Okay? Uh, verse 14, it says, Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. You see? And that's, hey, that's that, uh, uh, the statutes, laws, and commandments in our inward part. He said he would be be changed in the twinkling of an eye, you know, with those celestial bodies, man. Okay. Verse fifteen it says, "Give testimony unto those that have possessed from the beginning, and rise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful." You see, and that's the whole that's the whole kit and caboodle, for lack of better words, man. You see? Raise up prophets in thy name, man. Okay? And righteousness, man. And reward us, man. You see? It says, reward them that wait for thee. You see? That's what it's all about, waiting on the Lord, man. We're we not doing our own agenda, man. You see? We're not uh, 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 picking up uh, 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 arms, man, to do this. We have to wait on the Lord, man. The Lord is our... Uh, uh, Yahweh Shah is our uh, 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 backup, man. You see? You see, we, 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 hey, we can't do anything. We have no power, man. All right? 
no power. But the power is Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. It says, O Lord, hear the prayer of thy servants according to the blessing of Aaron over thy people that had that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the eternal God, or the eternal power. It says, the belly devoured all meat, yet is one meat better than another. So that's going to uh, something else, but. All right. And I believe that 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 that, that guy there, he, he he's a uh, <laughs> he he's big time in church, man. But you know, he might be a deacon or something, you know. But he try to act like he knows something. He don't know nothing, though. You know. This is uh the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse one. It says, "This is the book." of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All that keep it shall come to life. And that's what you want to do, man, with that, put, have that breath in you, man. Okay? Uh, but, uh, 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 preferring, uh, uh, going back or uh, referring to, uh, I think that was uh, Ecclesiastes. No, that was uh, Ezekiel 35, I believe. Or something to that. 36, Ezekiel 36, I believe. Chapter 36. Let me make sure I'm calling it right. Ezekiel 37. You know? Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright. Back in Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. It says this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see? And that's talking about the, uh, you know, the men that was called, but, you know, they, they came, they fell back into the world, man. You see? And he, uh, like he said, man, uh, uh, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. I believe that was uh, David, I believe. King David. All right. You see? That's a beautiful time, man. Hey, right, well, that's the, that's the prayer that we preach. I want you know, I kind of jumped off subject right there. So it's a lot, it's a lot for that. But yeah, man, that's the, hey, that's the nine mind state that we in, man, not to take, uh, you know, this Holy Spirit away from us. All right. It says, uh, and he says, uh, uh, once you learn this truth, search for him ten times more. And this is the same chapter. Okay, it says, it says, turn ye, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the, in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. You see? And that's what this truth, man, uh, 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 with wisdom and knowledge and understanding it. Uh, okay. It says, uh, let's jump down to uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. It says, Be of good cheer, O my children, cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power of the hands of the, of the enemy. And that's what it's gonna come down to, man. That's what it's gonna all come down to. That the Lord deliver us from the hands of our enemies, man. Which is the so-called white man. You see? That's the hey, that's the uh, that's the Israelites' enemy, man. You see? And, and you know, uh, uh, people don't see and understand that, man. But that's been, you know, since the since the days of old. All right. This has been all uh, since the days of old. Okay. And the sister said, amen to that, you know. Some don't believe it, but, hey, some sisters are waking up to this truth, man. You know, even though they, they you know, <laughs> you know, the, uh, it's not, you know, whole, they not wholeheartedly into it, you know. But, you know, they're doing the best that they can. And, and, right? What more can we ask for in this flesh, right? All right.
okay. But yeah. So, you know, uh, I guess we can close it and shut it down right there, you know. Because uh, uh, I think the point pretty much been made. Uh, so. You know, it is what it is, you know. We're one more day closer to the end, man, you know. Because, uh, this, uh, we, uh, we're closer, man, because, uh, we already in the middle of October. You see, and this, this, hey, 2021 20, is almost over with, man. A couple more months, we're in the last, uh, quarter. Okay, we're in the fourth quarter of this month. I mean, of this year, uh, uh you know. So it's going to be a, it's a, the time is coming, man, to where uh, Babylon the Great will be destroyed, man. Okay? Babylon the Great will be destroyed, man. But before that destruction comes, it'll be, you know, uh, uh, hell and chaos in America, man. See? Hell and chaos is coming to America, man. You see? By these different uh, skirmishes, man. And then, you know, that's when you have by Shimi out of side going to make his, you know, uh, uh, unruly return man okay so we're gonna cut it right there and give all praise and honor to you how about shit me on the side kodash double honor city apostles and the elders of the great millstones for teaching us this truth and shalom to the hopeful elect